Well, thought I'd make a video again about the cruise. Uh, now that I've got 10,000 miles on it, uh, I I don't see any issues with the car. A lot of people were asking about reliability in the comments on my last video, and uh, yeah, it's reliable. I didn't see any issues with that. No recalls. Uh, I heard about some for the 2011 model year with uh, some sort of radiator problems, but uh, I didn't hear anything that it applied to anything newer than that. <clears throat> I, uh, I am a little disappointed about one thing in particular, and that's that you really can't hear the turbo spin up. Uh, and, and I get why they designed it that way, you know, they don't want it to be ultra uh, loud. Uh, it, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of like one of those, you know, things that, you know, it's like, unless people really want it to be loud, you know, they, they usually design it for quiet uh, operation. Uh, and, uh, and that's probably, you know, not the only factor, you know, a lot of the design factors would, uh, would be, you know, uh, environmental, so your, your economy and all that, uh, over performance and to hear a turbo spin up would probably be, mean that you get less performance, although I'm not, I don't know that a whole lot about, uh, turbos as a whole, I understand the basic operation, but, uh, beyond that, they're, actual uh, uh, how they how they operate on, a, uh, on an engine fully no, I don't I don't I don't uh, I don't get that uh, I, I mean I understand they you know the, the exhaust waste spins a turbine uh, when it's uh, boosting it spins the uh, incoming air into a compressor and gives you boost. I mean, that's as basic of a description as, as you can get on, on that design. I mean, other than that, I don't, I don't know all the ins and outs of it, but it would be nice to hear it a little bit. I mean, once in a while I hear a little, you know, but other than that, you don't hear too much uh, from, from the turbo. I was going to look into the upgrade package they sell, the exhaust upgrade, it's a thousand bucks though. You know, for a thousand bucks you really really want to know what's involved, what what's gonna change. Plus they do a, a minor calibration change to the uh, to the computer and uh, you also have to run premium. And on that I, I was looking to see if there was a performance hit on that, although I don't believe there would be a hit unless you got your foot in it all the time, just like anything else. You know, you put your foot in it and you're going to lose your, your, uh, your gas mileage. Uh, but that, that'd be interesting to look that up, you know, see, see what, what's all involved with that. It's, uh, apparently it's, a uh, you install the, uh, the components yourself have the option and you take it up to your service dealer and they change the calibration on the computer which would probably take them all damn day because you know they're they want to make it seem like it's something big when it takes about five minutes uh, to do other than that I think everything is uh, it's pretty pretty good uh, with the vehicle so uh, yeah